Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, if you can't tell by the title, we've got an exciting one. I'm super excited. So yeah, we have got the new iHeart Revolution X Dr. Zeus collection. Yeah, I am so excited. Um, yeah, we've got this to play with. I was very kindly sent this from iHeart Revolution and oh my god, I was not expecting it. I was like in shock i was in shock when i got when i received it because i was just like oh my god what so thank you so much i Heart revolution i am a big fan of i Heart revolution everything from like their disney palettes love them love them they're probably my favorites um but yeah i am super excited to try this collection out so i'm gonna show you the bits that i received first and then we're gonna go ahead and start testing it out so let's let's go I did receive this huge box. Like, look at it. Um, yeah, that nearly fell out. <laughs> Wait, I'm holding it. Oh gosh. So, they sent me not the whole collection. They do have other bits from the collection as well. Um, but they sent me quite a few bits. So they have sent me. Let me pull them all out first. Let me pull them all out first. So they very kindly sent me two eyeshadow palettes, which I have here. Um, they sent me one of their like face palettes. They do have, sorry, four eyeshadow palettes in total. And they have two face palettes, but they sent me one of them. Um, they did send me some, a brush set. Thing one, thing two. I absolutely love The Cat in the Hat. <laughs> Such a good film. Um, so yeah, I've got them. So I'll be trying these out. And um, they sent me some of their, some of their crayon set, which includes six different shades. Of course, we'll pull these bad boys out, have a little look at them. Um, and then they sent me two of the glosses. They do have three glosses in total. Um, but yeah, they sent me two glosses. I'm excited. So, let's just get into the prizes real quick. So, the eye crayon collection is £12. The eyeshadow palette are seven pound yeah um the face palette is seven pound as well um i don't know oh the lip glosses are six pound and then the brush set is ten pound i was gonna say two pound then not two pound ten pound ten pound um i am super excited so um, I guess let's just jump straight on into it. First off, they sent me two eyeshadow palettes. These are ones I'm going to be starting off with. Um, love them. So they sent me Oh The Places You'll Go palette. They do These do come in boxes, but I've just put boxes to one side. So that's the palette. Mine, unfortunately, arrived smashed. This Just this one palette anyway. Um, so this palette out of packaging and then when you open it up it looks like this so yeah these two shades actually smashed but i mean I've, i kind of pressed them back in as best as i could so that's that palette and then the green eggs and ham palette looks like this love it super cute and when you open it up it looks like this these are the shades this this shade here beautiful absolutely beautiful um and then we'll open up the crayon set I did um dump one of my one of my shades the pink one at the end as you can kind of see but yeah these are the shades they all like very metallic there's like a blue a yellowy gold a green a silver another kind of goldy shade but it looks more like a rosy kind of gold and then a pinky metallic so yeah they all look amazing i'm not gonna lie to you i'm not gonna lie so i might try one of these out as well okay and then the face palette they sent me the fox in the socks one um which looks like this and very pretty so i'll probably use this as a bronzer and then like this is like a blusher so yeah i'm i'm super excited so i'm gonna go ahead uh, I'm going to prime my lids, I'm going to zoom you guys in and we're gonna, just going to jump into creating a look. Like I said, I might use some of the crayons, I, I might not, but yeah, we're going to be use, definitely using something from the palettes, um, maybe the crayons, and then of course I'll come back and we'll play with 
the box in the socks palette and then of course we've got the lip glosses as well which look like this so of course i'll swatch these that kind of thing um, and i'll also swatch oh let me swatch the palettes actually first i'll swatch a couple of the shades from the palettes so there's a few switch shades swatched from the other oh, places you'll go palette they're nice they're nice and then let me swatch some of the shades from the other palette i don't really know what kind of look to do i don't have a clue that's the the swatches from green eggs and ham palette nice obviously there's more sh matte shades in that palette but yeah like i said i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna prime my lids zoom you guys in and then we're just gonna create a look okay i'll be right back okay so i'm back quickly just prime my lids and zoomed you guys in so i'm gonna take the green eggs and ham palette first and i'm gonna go into this orangey shade here it's a really nice shade I don't really know what I'm going to do, to be honest with you. Like, I'm just not really too sure. I'm just taking it like this. And like that. Oh, this, this shade is actually really nice. It's a very nice shade. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Then I'm going to go into the All The Places You'll Go palette and I'll take this next orangey shade here. Just a tiny little bit of it. Just to like blend around the outer edges. I don't really know what I'm doing, to be honest with you. I'm just kind of like... Going with the flow, I guess. There's a pink. I really want to use that pink. And I'm going to go back into this palette. And I'm going to take this yellow shade here. Oh. So far, these shades are like blending really nicely so yeah i'm impressed i mean oh gosh look at that mm, nice i like that it's very like summer summery Marie. I don't really know what to do now because I want that pink but then there is this green as well and I'm like oh so that does look pretty but then that pink the pink is like calling me like it really is do we use the pink I think we're just gonna use the pink you know guys well that's yeah that's what i'm feeling i think we're gonna go into the pink yes i'm gonna go into that hot pink shade honestly he's just calling my name the very pretty pink very pretty.
just taking it up to like the edge almost because I don't really know if I want to take it all the way out. I think I want to have a look and see what kind of crayon they've got, to be honest. See how they have so many pretty crayons. Like they have this yellow gold. Oh, that's pretty. Do you think I could like add that to like the outer part? What do you guys think? I mean, they do have a green. I don't really think the green will go. They have this one. More like orangey. I thought it was more like a goldy, but yeah. One's more like yellow, one's more like... And they have this pink one as well. I'm thinking the yellow, you know, at the end. Do you think we should use that? So I'm going to go into this shade, which is called One Fish, Two Fish, Blue Fish, Red... <laughs> One fish and two fish, red fish, blue fish, which is this. Oh god, my god, yes. Which is this one here. I think I'm just gonna like do like some sort of liner moment. It's definitely metallic, isn't it? Like, look at that. Kind of created like a wing with it. Try and like blend it into the pink. Do you think I need to add another shade? Like a different shade? Like maybe this one. The more like orangey one. Do you think I should go with the with the pinky one? No, I'm not, I'm not mad at it. I just feel I just feel like it needs a bit more like definition. I'm not really too sure what one to kind of go in with. Maybe the more like orangey one. So I'm gonna take this one. This is called Fox in Socks. So just going on top with that. I'm not, I'm not mad. I'm not, I'm not mad. And then I'll probably add some more like on the bottom. But I'm actually not mad. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm just gonna go do it, uh, clean this eye up. Do obviously this eye, lashes, mascara, base, whatnot. Um, and then I'll back, of course, we've got the face palette and then we've got the glasses. And of course, I've still got the, br the brushes to try out as well. So yeah, I'll be right back. Yes, yeah, so I'm back. I have quickly just done like the rest of my base, my brows, that kind of thing. Um, I did apply just like a liquid blonde bronzer and blusher. Um, but we are gonna go into the actual bronzer and blusher now i think they're like a bronzer and blusher i'm not too sure so this is what it looks like um yeah let me swatch it's like a brick kind of layout well let me s oh could i use that as a bronzer don't really know um and that's like well it's meant to be like the blusher side but i don't really i don't really know i don't really know what it's about but that's they're like way too dark <laughs> they're way too dark for me um i might be able to use like cause just the one kind of shade almost like a blush top hair but i don't think it's gonna work like that hmm. Hmm. um i don't really know what to do <laughs> got me confused i am gonna I'm gonna find a really like yeah i'm gonna find like a fluffy brush i'm kind of gonna go with just into the blusher well the i'm gonna call it the blusher side but I'm, it's not really like the blusher side is it i'm just gonna like hmm. 
If I added more gold to it, I'm not, not, I'm not mad. Not mad at it, so... Yeah. I don't hate it. I definitely can't use the other side as a bronze. I thought I could, but I just don't think it's gonna... I just don't think it's gonna work, to be honest with you. So we're just gonna leave that. I mean, I'm not mad at it. I... Probably something that I wouldn't reach for on the daily. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's just... Yeah. I feel like it's a bit too deep for my skin tone, personally. I mean, it's kind of worked as like a blusher topper. But, yeah, I might have to just go into like another little bl blusher brush just to kind of like... Yeah, I mean, it's okay. It's all right. It's nice, but, you know, I think this will be more beautiful on deeper skin tones. I just don't think that this is right for, like, my skin tone, personally. But it is really pretty, though. It is really pretty, but, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I totally forgot to use the brushes. Oh, my goodness. But, um, I will be using them. I just, yeah, I just... Oh... Let me just get them out of the box and we'll just kind of like feel them because I will actually use them like. You know, I think that might have been perfect, you know. This one. They feel amazing. Oh my gosh. That one feels, they both feel so soft. Let me try this one with the. I think it would have been perfect because it is like. Oh, yeah, I should have just used this one. I totally forgot. It was literally sitting right next to me. Oh, it feels so nice, though. I'm not mad at that. I'm not mad at it. Beautiful. So we've got the glosses now to look at. So they sent me Fox in Socks lip gloss and Oh, the Places You'll Go lip gloss. So I've got some plastic on mine. So I'm going to swatch them first. We've got the Fox in the Socks. They smell nice. They smell like vanilla or something. Oh, this one's a pretty one. I also love the packaging as well. Like it's got that little sock. That is that shade. Really nice. Really pretty. And then we've got Oh, the Places You'll Go. I like the packaging of this one as well. Super cute. It's more of like an orangey kind of one so that's what that one looks like it's so difficult which one do i use because obviously i've used both kind of colors like orange and a pink so it's like what do i do oh not too sure i'm gonna quickly line my lips first but i'll just use it i'll just use like a lip liner that's like my kind of color like backseat love from morphe that's my kind of lip liner that was basically like my lips but better kind of shade if that can make sense i'll do that and then we'll come back and I'll pick a shade and we'll use it. So one of them, I'm feeling more like the orangey ones. This is oh the places you'll go one. So we'll pop a little bit of this on. I'm super excited. I'm sorry, this is beautiful. That is stunning. I love this. It feels nice as well. Like it doesn't feel too sticky. It is just stunning. Yeah, I love it. Love it. I'm obsessed. It's so nice. So pretty. Mm. Yes. Okay, guys, I am back. My desk is a mess it's a mess um so let's talk about the collection what do i think about it first off i was kind of like hmm wasn't too sure if i was gonna like like it i mean there's some really nice products in here but i was like at first because i was gonna purchase some bits and i was like you know what i don't need this and um, but i'm very very grateful and very happy that i had revolution actually sent this to me so thank you again i had revolution um but i'm actually pleasantly surprised guys so Obviously, I don't have all of the eyeshadow parts. I don't have all the collection. But from what I've tested today, I am obsessed. So first off, the eyeshadow palettes. Obviously, they're only small. So, you know, you're not going to get... Oh, I'm picking up the wrong one. <laughs> um, You're obviously not going to get, like, a ton of looks out of it. 
Um, a couple of them don't have a lot of mattes in, like for instance this one doesn't. I keep, the shadow just keeps dropping and now I've got green eyeshadow on my chair, no! Um, anyway, yeah, so obviously there's not a lot of mattes in here, but you can still create like a couple of different looks out of it and the shimmers are insane, they're so pretty, especially this pink, like look at that, look at it! Um, so I'm obsessed with this one, I really like the green eggs and ham one as well. I didn't have any problem with the mattes, the mattes that I did use beautiful obviously the shimmer stunning um i'm excited to kind of try and play with these some more and see what other kind of looks i can create out of them um but yeah i'm actually happy with today's look i do quite like it so moving on to the like the eye crayons again i was quite surprised by these obviously i didn't use all of them i just used a couple of them but i do quite like them um they definitely worked as you can see i used it on the outer edge i did also put like some on the lower lash line as well um and i do really i really quite like it it's really quite nice um so i'm excited to try and play with these some more but yeah they do work really well and obviously i did use it i used quite a bit of it on the outer corner and things like that so not mad not mad and for as well for the price that you get for six of them really good really good um so yeah next the pal the face palette um i would say this doesn't really work for my kind of skin tone it is beautiful i'm not too sure what the other one kind of looks like i feel like the other one might have worked better for me but like just based off looking at the picture on here but i'm actually not too sure um yeah I mean the bronzer the bronzer side like i'm guessing this is a bronzer side i'm not too sure is it meant to be highlight i don't know um i could definitely not get away with that i might be able to get away with a, as a bronzer but i just didn't want to to try it today because you know if i'm going in with like this side i don't want it to be too like glowy i don't want too much do you know what i mean um so yeah i mean this side's really pretty as well but i feel like again it's a bit dark i can just about get away with it as like a blush topper but it kind of when you mix it together it turns into more of like a deep gold like a bronzy gold um but it is really pretty and i do really like it but i just don't think it'd be one of them things that i'd be reaching for on the day-to-day -day basis do you know what i mean um but i feel like if you have a deeper complexion this would be beautiful on you especially like in the summertime so yeah but i do i do like it i like the concept of it I just kind of wish there was like an extra one which was like even lighter because I feel like even, even looking at the other one still looks a bit like deep if that can make sense but yeah I'm not not overly bothered uh, I do it was a really nice formula and yeah I like it the brushes obviously I only used one of the brushes and I totally forgot about it duh um but they both feel really soft I'm excited to just keep using them and keep playing with them this one that I used feels Oh, it feels so soft on the skin. I like it. Obviously, I haven't used this one, but I will eventually get around to using it at some point. And yeah, they, I really like them. I love the packaging of them. I just think that is basically thing one and thing two in a brush form. I'm, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. Okay, lastly, the glosses. The one that I'm wearing, I'm obsessed with i just think it's beautiful i don't even think you need to line your lips with it i think you could just go straight in with it and just have like a glossy lip moment like this in the summertime is going to be beautiful even this one as well um i really like this really love the formula it is a lip gloss i know that sometimes revolution can kind of say it's a lip gloss but then it turns out to be like a lip kind of cream i can definitely say these are lip glosses so yeah if you eyeing them up i would definitely say they are beautiful on well i was gonna try this one but i'm guessing this one will be as well from the swatch that i tried so i'm obsessed i'm obsessed so yeah i would recommend all of these products guys if you were eyeing them up definitely grab them try them out um because i am living for them so look at that just look at that pink I can't go over it. Um, so yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you did like this video, please remember to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as it really helped me out. Everything else that I'm wearing on my face, I'll of course, link in the description box down below. And if you do want me to do another video testing out this collection, of course I can do, just let me know. And yeah, I guess I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!